Hi, my name is Albert Dunford, and in this tutorial video, we are going to get started with PSIM. So the first thing to do is click this Place New Schematic, and that drops a new schematic in. You can also go File uh, New to do that as well. And once we're here, we need to place some components. So we could go into the Library Browser here or up into the Elements menu and poke around this way. But let's place a resistor, for example. Uh, we can also come down to the bottom toolbar. There's some common components here. So here's a DC voltage source. So let's place that there. We can also uh, grab, say, a uh, capacitor and place that. And these are, uh, I used a hotkey for that one as well. So hotkeys are set in the customized keyboard options here. You can set up uh, commands and elements to be bound to hotkeys. I, I strongly recommend it. Let's also place a, a MOSFET here as well. And we've got now some elements. And let's maybe also put a, uh, an inductor and just place it right there. So maybe we want to wire this all together now. So to do that, we hit the wire button up at the top here so we can connect these up quite quickly. Uh, if we hit escape, we clear that our cursor and we can place new things. I've also got the wire command bound to my hotkey W, so I can just hit W and bring these all up. And then I can connect those up there. And then I can also place a ground. Okay, so let's place some measurement points now. So we'll grab the voltage probe, which is node to ground. So that measures the node versus uh, ground voltage. Uh, we'll also place a voltage across uh, node to node measurement. So here we can measure across this inductor. And then we can also uh, toggle inside of these elements this current flag. If we put that to 1, we'll measure the current uh, flowing through these elements. So we can put that to 1. So this is available on most, most elements. A and we can also place, say, this amp meter on the return path here. Uh, this is, uh, if we just drop an element onto a, a trace, it will splice that in for us. So by just placing that in, it automatically inserts that so we don't have to do the, the rewiring. And uh, let's also then set up a gating circuit onto this device. So this is a, an ideal device in PSIM. Uh, switch models in PSIM are start up as an ideal. You can go to more realistic models like level one, level two, or SPICE. Uh, those, these require sort of real gating circuits to drive them on and off. With ideal switches, we can get away with interfacing them using our on-off switch control element here, and then we can then either connect um, a square wave voltage source to this, uh, or it, we could then build a, uh, a, a comparator waveform, a PWM generation circuit with, say, like a, a comparator element and a triangle source for a carrier waveform and a uh, a reference point there. This could also be variable, and that would generate our PWM waveform there. But this is all we really need to do in order to get the switch to turn on and off. If you're using a, a level two or, or a non-ideal switch, you can also use this on-off multi-level controller. So let's rename some of these so that double-clicking brings up the attributes box, so we can change that to uh, V underscore MOSFET. We can then also come in here and change these values, so we could put say 10 micro uh, or e to the minus 6 if you want to, but you can use the engineering units. If you, you can do math in here as well, so if we multiplied that by 2, we'd use 20 micro. Uh, over here, same deal, we could go say 1 kilo, uh, and then with the capacitor we could change that as well. Um, or we could say use a variable. So if we went C there, and we came over to the voltage source and changed that to, to V, so we've got uh, V, and I display that value there, and there's the C we're using. Uh, then we would place a parameter file to define those. So we come up here and type in, we could look for it or for the keyword, we could just type param, uh, and we grab that parameter file, and then we would open that up, and we would define V equals, say, 200 volts, and then C equals, say, you know, 10 micro. And then uh, we would then, these values are now ready for us to use. OK, so we're essentially ready to simulate. We're missing one element, which is the simulation control block. And we can come in here and then change the time step and the total time. These values are the other parameters here are slightly more advanced. So the spice menu, the sim coder menu for code generation. So using all these different targets. But let's just run with, uh, with this. These are our time step and our total time. OK, now we're ready to just go ahead and run that simulation so we can uh, click that button, and there's the uh, voltage across the MOSFET. Uh, we can also, say, lay on top of that, add a new uh, signal, say, uh, the current flowing through the capacitor. 
And we can see that's a, quite a small number. So what we could do is actually right click that and plot that on a different axis. And we can see what that looks like uh, and add alternate screens. So look at other values here as well. And that gives us uh, more information about what's, what's happening. Another thing that will help you get started is if you come to help and go search help, you can start looking for other uh, example simulations, PSIM has a vast library. So if you type in, say, phase shift, you'll grab the phase shift. There's the phase shift full bridge converter example there. If you type in, say, like a motor drive, you'll see PDFs and example simulations and uh, tutorial videos covering that topic. And you, also, if you typed in script, you'd grab, see what all the uh, example scripts are that are in the library. You can just open them up from here. Uh, you can also come over and go open examples or search examples the uh, same sort of way. So running the, the, the phase shift full bridge converter, we can, say, plot all these uh, gating waveforms and then add a new screen and add in the uh, output current and output voltage. And we can just add those over. And again, we can do the same sorts of tricks by plotting them onto multiple, multiple axes. And we can see things also here by, if we right click there and switching to the alternate timing axis, and now we're able to do things like zoom in on portions of the circuit. So there's lots that you can do uh, with PSIM, and definitely the example circuits is a great place to start. Also, there's going to be more tutorial videos. Uh, built out of, out of this one. You should have seen links to other tutorial videos while you were looking at this. But this was just a quick video to help you place elements and connect them together so that you can get started with PSIM. Uh, check for more getting started videos and also check for uh, videos linked from this one that deal with other and more advanced topics. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Please uh, check back again for more tutorial videos.